Hello there, YouTube. It's your boy B3, back with another kicking movie reaction review. And today's movie reaction review is over a film that I feel like should be far more popular than it is. It's a Shudder exclusive. I bought it on DVD the day it came out. I went to Walmart specifically to get it. I had to have it. Uh, and I'm finally getting around to reviewing it. Psycho! Gore Man from 2020. It's a horror, sci-fi, comedy, tokusatsu film. Uh, magnificent. It's not rated, uh, but it's pretty cool. You can watch it uh, on YouTube TV, Sling, Amazon Prime Video, Vudu, YouTube, uh, Google Play Movies and TV, etc., etc. As a, Once again, I have it on DVD. It has a 6.2 out of 10 on IMDb, uh, which I feel like is low. A 92% on Rotten Tomatoes, hell yeah. And a 4.3 out of 5 on Shudder, uh, hell yeah. 80% of Google users liked the film, including me. Quick little read-up. Intergalactic assassins converge on a small town after two siblings unwittingly resurrect an ancient alien overlord. Release date, January 2022, 2021 in the USA. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of getting conflicting reports on uh, its release. Director Steven Kostaniski? Kostansky? Steven Kostansky. Box office, $95,384. Costume design, Maddie Styles. You did a fantastic job. Cinematography, Andrew Appel. And distributed by RLJE Films. I fucking love this movie. <laughs> so, Psycho Gorman is this being that was once a slave to, like, this galactic regime. And he found a crystal that gave him ultimate power, and now he just kind of works his way across the universe, just killing literally everything he can. He gets locked away on the planet Earth, uh, ironically, via the power of his own crystal. And then when these kids dig it up in their backyard, you know, the we got the gal and we got the boy, it's kind of like a boy and his monster film, but it's more of a girl and her monster film. It takes place in the 90s. Uh, according to the special features, it takes place in the 90s because if it took place in modern times, a lot of the problems in the film could just be <laughs> solved with a cell phone, which is the same reason my Call of Cthulhu campaign is going to take place in the 90s. So, great minds think alike. Anyways... That's a magnificent film, and since she has the gym, she kind of gets to command Psycho Goreman, and he kind of learns to like the family, uh, even love the family. And they all fight together in the end against these galactic assholes. Because the people that locked away Psycho Goreman, they ain't good people either. Like, everyone in space is just evil, greedy, murderous assholes. But bunch of practical effects and there's an origin for like biocop which is apparently another movie from this director or something like that that wasn't uh really as interesting to me because i didn't know that existed until after i'd watched the film but uh yeah in the special features he does talk about super sentai and etc being an inspiration made me very happy because when i was watching it i was like this is a toku film it's genuinely funny it's genuinely heartwarming the practicals are great it's a wonderful film Every, they did an incredible job on every part of it. I, I, I honestly, I can't think of anything bad to say. Like, right at the end, and I'm talking about the end here, keep that in mind. Uh, Psycho Gorman is like, you've shown me the greatest power in the universe. Love. And I will use the power of love to kill all life on this world. <laughs> but he plans on sparing the family, and the family's just like... Okay, go kill everyone except us, I guess. <laughs> Fucking... Gr oh my... It's a great film. We need Psycho Goreman, NECA. NECA Toys. You listed into me? Get me Psycho Goreman. I need Psycho Goreman Toys, NECA. It's true, it's facts. I need it. But I mean, I, I, don't, I don't know what to say. It's hard to, to talk about... A film when you love it to the point where it's hard to find much of a fault in it. I mean, it's got good acting, great direction, good script. I loved Psycho Goreman. 
really, I can't. <laughs> it's a wonderful, wonderful film that I highly recommend all toku horror monster fans. Like, if you just like anything akin to that, you'll love Psycho Gorman. You'll genuinely love Psycho Gorman. It's like E.T. for adults. It's so fun. I mean, E.T. is pretty excellent as well, but Psycho Gorman. <laughs> I'm not saying Psycho Gorman is as good as E.T., but hell yeah, it's a fucking great film. Definitely check it out. So that's it. Thank you all very much for your support. Remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. Check out all the cool links in the description below. Facebook, Twitter, etc. And I will see you all next time. Bye for now.